up guys, it's JP Pretty 12 welcome to the first Madden modding tutorial and today as you see on the screen we're going to be learning how to replace team logos in Madden 20 by using Frosty Mods and Photoshop. So for this, uh, the things you're going to need is obviously Frosty uh, Editor, you need Photoshop, and then you're going to need um, Stingray's um, AST Editor, which I will also link, I'll link in the description. And, uh, yes, so let's get started. First thing you're wanna, gonna want to do is, of course, open up Frosty. But then, you're gonna want to open up Photoshop. And then, of course, you're gonna go open. Now, there is uh, an, uh, a zip file I'm gonna link in the description that already has the image sizes laid out in the EA Sports logos. So you'll unzip that and have it in a folder. And then you're gonna select. So you'll have the folder so you'll go here and then you'll select all of them and you do not want to load transparency as alpha channel on any of them so you're just gonna click OK 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 so we'll start with the first one so uh, for the purposes of this tutorial I'm gonna be doing a YouTube logo and uh, I'll show you the first one but the rest and I'll explain what a couple of these do so uh, like I said, I'm going to be using a YouTube logo, which is right here. So you want to resize it to kind of right here. And now if it's not transparent, you want to make sure it's transparent. And you're going to go to layers and you're going to disable that EA Sports layer. So once you've done that, you're going to go, of course you have Intel TextureWorks uh, already uh, installed. Um, so you're going to go save as, and you can save it, you can overwrite these, so you'd go to file 0055 in this case, uh, save it as a DDS, so save, and yeah, of course I want to replace it, and so you want to go color plus alpha, BC3 8, 8 BPP linear, uh, no mitmaps, and so that's going to create the correct image. So, once you've saved that, you can close that out. And uh, so then I'm going to tell you what these two logos do. I'm not really sure about the others, but I know this logo is the front logo um, on the uh, EA Sports. Um, I mean, not on the EA Sports, on the logo, like on the team select screen. That's the front logo you see. That's what this is. So if you want to change anything else, that's it. And then this is the logo you'll see behind it that's uh, not as, um, it has a little bit of transparency to it. So, yeah, that's what those two logos do if you want to do that. So, I'm going to do the rest of these, and I will see you guys once I am finished. Okay, so once you have saved all of the, all five of those um, logo images, so you want to load up your Frosty Madden NFL 20. So, you're going to click here, Madden Legacy Explorer, Common, UI, Madden, Swappables, and teamlogos.ast now once you're there you're going to right click hit export and just you can save it in the folder that you um you made the logos in so once you've done that now you're going to so for this tutorial we're going to be replacing the chicago bears logo um and i'm going to show you all how you can figure out what the number is associated with these logos so you open up the ast editor here so you're going to go file open EA logos, team logos .ast. So, of course, I'm going to know that zero is going to be the Chicago Bears, but if you're doing a team other than the Bears or you don't know what they can do, you can go, um, go edit, uh, extract all, um, decompress all files, and then you can save it. And then once you've saved it, which I've already saved it, so I'm going to go to desktop where I saved it. Uh, it's right here. So right here, you can see all of the logos. So as you can see, the Chicago Bears, I don't, I don't know why that's even there, uh, to be honest. Um, so you see you got Chicago Bears, of course, all the teams. And say you wanted to make an add-on team, which I will show you in a later tutorial, you can replace these uh, college football logos. So for the sake of this tutorial, we just need to know that Chicago is number zero. So we're going to remember that zero for each of the thousands. So we're going to go zero, replace selected. Uh, 0055, it doesn't matter. So that's that's our zero. And then we're going to find 1,000. And that's going to be the next one. 
and then it'll go 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. So now we need to find 2,000. Now I'm going to remind y'all, um, the AST editor is really tedious and sometimes it screws up and corrupts your files. So I would just say have a backup if you plan on doing more than one logo, but I would suggest doing only one logo. I had that happen to me when I was working on my high school mod. Uh, I had a bunch of teams imported and I didn't save it and I had to restart. So yeah, so enjoy the rest of the tutorial. Um, so... 3,000. And then finally... 4,000 selected okay now when you save the AST go file save as you can name it whatever you want I would recommend naming it on uh, what you what has already been imported so we'll say YouTube logo done something like that um, so it's easier to remember when you're looking through your files and say one got corrupted oh I can go back so I don't have to restart all my progress so you'll close out that and now we're going to go into Frosty. Now, I want to close this because it won't show the preview. You go to Import. Uh, go back to EA Logos. And you click YouTube Logo Done. And just to show y'all. Here we have the first logo there. And I'll try and find it. There it is. So, as you can see. Alpha's looking nice. Um, so now, once you've done that, you can launch it up in the game. Alright, so as you can see here, we have successfully changed the logos. Um, so, there's plenty of other things you can do with this AST editor. You can make scoreboard mods. You can make, uh, you can change uh, portraits. Uh, I'll link a tutorial in the description by the Bleeding Red 21 uh, He shows a custom portrait tutorial. In his case, he replaces Andrew Luck with Brett Favre. Um, so it's a really interesting tutorial, but yeah, that is it for the tutorial today. Um, I do want to give uh, the shout outs to people that have helped me and who are going to help continue this series. So first, uh, I do want to link my own Discord. Uh, I'm working with a couple guys on some high school mods for Madden 20 and eventually Madden 21. Um, there's also the D105 mod made by BFit4. He actually taught me this process and is an absolute stud, so please go check out his Discord. Uh, so that's a D105 mod. It's got all the it's gonna have all the D1 teams and it's even bigger than the college football mod. So it's really sick. Y'all need to go check it out. And uh, also there's the Madden Modding community. If you have any questions about the stuff, please go let the guys ask the guys in there know. But remember you need to search first. You don't need to just go ahead and ask because people, a lot of people in there do not like repeating themselves. So uh, be sure to know that. And also, uh, I'll link BFit Force channel. I mean, not BFit Force. Sorry, Kerblam King's channel. Um, he's gonna eventually do some of these tutorials with me. And uh, he and I have discovered a bunch of stuff in this game. Uh, so he, we were the ones who had this plan to make these tutorials. So I hope y'all enjoy. Um, next week. Um, we are going to do another tutorial. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. Um, and also, if y'all have any tutorial requests, just let me know in the comments. Uh, that too. Alright. JB Brady 12. Peace, boys.